to me, riding vintage sleds, it's a simple life. The 70s, uh, even into the early 80s, there was no such thing as handlebar heaters. We didn't have thun warmers, we didn't have reverse kits. We had like two and three inches of uh, travel. Trails were bumpy, sleds didn't have a lot of suspension. That never came into play. Like you never were thinking, geez, I wish I had another two inches of travel. You were just happy to go ride. And it was just a really good time. It was a fun time for snowmobiling. You know, a big day riding back then was like 70 miles and you had a lot of fun, had a lot of breakdowns, didn't bother you, they were easily fixed and usually everybody got home with a big smile on their face. Vintage snowmobiling, it's getting together with the guys, wives, kids, maybe going out on a short ride, maybe doing a barbecue. It's kind of the old days kind of snowmobiling. We all love the new style of snowmobiling with trails and, and doing big miles, but that is not what vintage is about. Vintage is about having fun. My interest in vintage didn't really start until about 2009 when I read Kent's article in Supertracks about the Waconia event and a ride to the Waconia event called the Wobble Ride. Uh, the more I learned about the Wobble Ride, the more I realized I gotta get in on this. I realized the first thing I needed was a vintage sled of my own, so I headed out with John Arkwright to arguably the largest vintage swap meet in North America, Heydays, in search of a uh, sweet piece of iron just for me. It's got an oil cooler. Yep, yep, sweet. Look at, you know what? That's as close to a rev as you're ever gonna get with a motor up underneath the steering post like that. It's got a car battery in it. I wouldn't push that too much further. Yeah. There's no way. It's just a bicycle chain in it or yeah. something. Yeah, you just greased it. That's all you did. It's got a mirror on it, John. It's freaking custom with the mirror. Yeah. That's retro. This is designed for racing, John. Right How up. fast can I go right now? This one's 250 bucks. This is primo. Well, that's because it starts. Yeah, it starts and runs, <laughs> man. Drive it home. I like the gas tanks on them. They're like a can. Needs a little work. Tell you what, in your day, if you owned a 72 Puma or a Cheetah, man, you were, <laughs> you had a ride. I don't think we're gonna find a sled in much better shape than this with minimal amount of work. Look at that, 2,900 miles. That's a sweet, that's a sweet ride. That, I would say, is in mid-70s to late-70s. Power thrust. You'll look long and hard to find a sled in this good a shape at this age. And uh, hey, guess what? There's not gonna be a lot of guys out there running a 440 whip. Well, then we should be that guy. I think we should be. <laughs> So the sled we picked up was a 1977 Scorpion Whip in all original mint condition. Luke, you're lucky you got it because if I hadn't bought a sled, she'd have been mine. When the time came this year for Waconia to happen, uh, I packed my bags, loaded my sled in my truck and headed out on the 18 hour trip uh, to Minnesota. I managed to secure a spot in the wobble ride for myself and I gotta admit, I was really curious to find out what this was all about. Wobble is a snowmobile ride that goes from Prior Lake to Waconia for vintage snowmobiles. Wobble means Waconia or bust leaf spring expedition. The only qualification is the snowmobile has to be leaf spring front suspension. For years, I'd gone to Waconia for the vintage event that takes place there. And I live about 35 miles from Waconia, and the thought occurred to me, why not ride there? Look, this can't be that big of a deal. So the first year, uh, my friend and neighbor Mark and myself, and actually my then five-year-old son, who rode on the front of my sled with me, he said, ah, we'll go ride to Waconia. And we did, and it started something. The route for Wobble is primarily a combination of ditch and trail. We try to have fun with the route. With respect, we go through a cemetery, we go near a trailer park, uh, we have a little bit of creek setting, and we try to mix it up so that uh, if problems occur, they can occur in funny places and have fun with it. The Wobble Ride, uh, in a word, it's ridiculous. I mean, how hilarious is it if you think about 25 full-grown men 
pounded in ditches wide open on sleds that are 30 years old and just having a ball. Every time we stopped, we were laughing. It was an adventure and it was a ton of fun. How's the ride going? This is awesome. This is so much fun. You know, these sleds aren't that bad either. This is like pretty comfortable. I need another 916th. I just know this guy's a little loose here. There's no way you couldn't have a good time on the wobble ride. Even at pit stops, people are standing around, they're laughing, joking, <laughs> fixing their sleds, just basically enjoying the moment. The goal of the wobble ride is to get everyone that signs up for it to Waconia. Oh. <laughs> that was fun while it lasted. Yeah. <laughs> Fellow wobblers. <laughs> if it's on their own snowmobile, great. If uh, they break down and have to ride passenger uh, on someone else's snowmobile, even better because that creates something that we can give them a hard time about for the next year. We, we want to create a situation where people feel like they can just act like goofballs and nobody cares, and, and when that happens, we have fun. As has become the tradition, there are a few awards to be had. We will start with uh, Dan. He's got about an inch of travel there, so Dan, Three springs for you. Brand new, brand new Yamaha helmet. Steve, this is a size small helmet. You're the only guy this is gonna fit. <laughs> Last but not least, we have the beautiful Wobble Traveling Trophy. This is probably a crowd vote? Yeah, maybe a crowd vote. Mike is the only guy who crashed today. Andy, you had a good off today. Yeah, actually two. Raise your hand, Mike. Woo! Andy. Woo! I think Mike. I think Mike. That's with a lot of honor. When we got to the Waconia event, I was really overwhelmed by how involving the event was. I basically just took off on my own. I really wanted to see the sleds. That was the part that really pulls you in. But what keeps you there is the personalities and the people who own these sleds, the people who ride these sleds. You got sleds that are some cases 40 years old. They're, they're classic collector sleds, but these people are ripping around on them out on this lake. Probably the biggest thing about this vintage scene that struck me was that no one isn't having a good time. There's nobody with an attitude. There's nobody who's ticked off. There's nobody who's mad that their sled broke or unhappy that their windshield cracked. Everyone is just having fun. Check this out. Original Scorpion suit. Match the whip 440. Nice. Vintage snowmobiles puts you in a different frame of mind. And what I think the industry can learn from that is it's not about performance, it's not about who has the most horsepower, it's not about how high you can jump or how fast you can go through the corner. None of that matters in vintage. It shifts focus to just the fun of it all. And I think that there's a good lesson there for the snowmobile industry. Vintage is something I'm very new to, uh, but I couldn't be happier that I made the decision to get involved and to become a part of not only Wobble, but go to Waconia as well. And it is something I will come back to and experience again as soon as possible. <laughs>